amount is generated by each and every object when it is in contact with the other objects. For example, let us take this way. It is in contact with the board. It is generating some sound. If at all, there is disturbances in the air molecules, that is the vibration. And the to and fro motion of the air molecules is resulting in the form of a sound which is heard by us and we are say, we are we are pretending what we are analyzing by it. Now let us see the basic principle in it that is to and fro motion of an object that is for example let us say these are the sound particles having same velocity, same frequency and amplitude. Whenever there is a disturbance occurred at one end, for example let us say if I push with this head with this object this head then all this will be compressed and the compressed state is like this. See, if you observe here there is some gap between these molecules, right? But by coming to this, here the sticks have been compressed and later again they will come to their original position that is known as rest position that is said to be as normal position. Again normal position. Again if at all any force is applied on the right, again it goes into compressed state. That means you will be observing that the two and fro motion that is the compression and refraction is the two phase that is it is a collider of one after the other will be resulting in the formation of sound and this sound is said to be as the vibration of an object or body. Now let us see this is one more thing that is back and forth motion of an object. What do you mean by back and forth? To and fro is means to and front and back. That is set there as back and forth. And to and fro motion, if you observe pendulum clock, right? If you see the pendulum will be going to and fro. That is set to be as to and fro motion. See the pendulum moves from here to here and from here to here. This is said to be as to and fro motion. Now these two motions are resulting in the formation of sound. Now the property is said to be as vibration. What do you mean by vibration? That is the to and fro or back and forth motion of any object is said to be as vibration. Now in that band we have stretched it and we have pulled one side. Then what did it has been taken that is the vibration that is to and fro motion of that band. Now let us see one more thing that is in order to generate the vibration or for example let us take in order to generate any sound what we have to need that is the first basic equipment is the vibration right that is first the vibration object is required in order to generate the sound and the second point is the vibrating page produces waves in water what do you mean by that if at all let us take one glass of water and if you bring any tuning fork which is on vibration if you place it near to that it will be generating that triples in water itself also so that ripples forming in water is also one more example of vibration of water and let us see different types of sounds generated by different particles which are uh, easily available in our kitchen utensils and let us see the vibration in water and also at K. If you also here see I have poured the water in a transparent glass and if you notice the water are stiff. Now if at all I vibrate the glass that is the glass vessel then the water which is inside the glass vessel also will be vibrated. This is what we have studied previously the statement what is if at all the water is poured in a vibrating body then the water also will be vibrated. Let us see that in a practical manner. Now if I am trying to vibrate the glass with the vibrating body now see if you if you observe the water is moving in the glass right if you observe the water is also moving with some waves right so if you observe that the, wa the water is also moving with some waves so by this what we are concluding is with the help of a vibrating body we can vibrate the other object which is in contact for example let us take that as liquid that is water let us discuss one practical activity in order to see the statement that is if at all a vibrating body is in contact with another object then it is also said to be in vibration. Let us see for example let us take this glass, transparent glass, glass. if you observe that I have poured the water in it and the water is in still condition right. Now if at all I vibrate this glass 
outer surface then the water which is inside also tends to be in vibration let us see that in practical that is i am vibrating the glass with the help of a tuning fork or a vibrating body and now i am tending to make it to vibrate see the glass is vibrating now now therefore the water which is inside is also tending the waves and it is also moving by this what we can conclude any liquid or any water substance which is in a glass or which is in an object will also tends to be vibrated when the outer surface of the glass is in vibration now let us see the sound produced by vibration previously i have said for you an activity regarding how to make out a list of vibrating objects that is how sound you would listen on day to day life right now let us see some sounds which are generated by some objects see for example let us take a spoon right if these are the common things what you'll be observing in your day to day life in kitchen also if at all you take a spoon and if you hit it with on a plate this is the steel plate stainless steel and if you take and if you take you'll be generating some sounds you are able to hear some sound right and at the same time if you take one another thing or another glass or whatever thing the sound is different right if you observe the sound is different
opening of these two tubes simultaneously. Now, this wind pipe is said to be as air tube through which the air is passed from it. Now, we will be seeing that the lungs will be originated here, some go downwards, and <coughs> these two lungs will be applying some force on the air which is passing through this wind pipe. So, whenever there is a force applied on these tubes, then there will be a pressure exerted oppositely on the upper side. Therefore, they will be generating the sounds that is produced through these vocal cords which are present across these wind pipe. The muscles which are placed around these vocal cords will be functioning in order to generate the contraction and opening that is tightening and thinning of the muscles reflects the flow of air towards the lungs and at the same time if you observe in males you can see outward physically also that is the heart like ball like structure you will be seeing on the neck of a male person it will be more clearly visible that is the heart ball you will be saying that that is the vocal cord none other than that now this vocal cord is very useful in order to generate the sound now we will be seeing that the two vocal cords which are the essential for generation of sound and at the same time the functioning that is the pressure exerts upwards on these and thereby we will be reproducing the sound outwards and this is said to be as larynx of voice box and the heart bump that is what I said previously on the males will be clearly seeing that the heart bump which is said to be as voice box will be placed at the upper end of the wind pipe that means assume this as the voice box and this will be situated upper side of the wind pipe therefore with the help of these voice box the sound can be generated I hope you are clear with the terms which are involved in the production of sound that is the vocal cords are playing major role while coming to the voice box and wind pipe are acting the to and fro motion that is the vibrations which are internally exerted are resulting in the production of the sound. I hope you are clear with the sound how it is produced in the human beings. Let us do a practical experiment in order to understand what for sound that is any medium is required for sound let us discuss in an activity now we have taken a metal or a glass tumbler as shown in the figure now we will be making sure that the tumbler should be dry and now I am placing a cell phone inside the tumbler as it is showing now I am asking my friend to give a ring on this cell there will be a ring on the cell phone as you are able to hear it. I hope you can hear the sound also. Now what I will do is I will ask my friend I will ask my friend in order to put his hands on the tumbler and indicate him to give a ring again. Now see here, we are closing the 